MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Texas Rangers and the Boston Red Sox. Digging in, Elvis Andrews. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Now the one and one pitch. Sweeps across and catches the outside part of the plate for a strike. Our temperature not quite 60 degrees, 59 here. Oh, look at the diving stop. Hey now. Now with the plate, Matt Duffy. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Matt. One out, nobody on. Grounded back up the middle. And Pedroia will stretch, but it's into center field for a base hit. That is her. The designated hitter. Willie Calhoun. And now, Willie Calhoun. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Duffy, the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. So we're runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up Joey Gallo. Gallo. Now the one and one pitch he is low and outside for a ball. Fastball well outside. They know the threat this guy possesses at the plate. I know it's 3 1 in this situation right here, but I can't imagine anything comes over the heart of the plate. And that misses ball four, so it's first and second now with two out. That is good. Into the box, Danny Santana. Great chance to drive in a run here in the early going. Ready with the one, two. This is a huge pitch right here. I don't think he wants to go 3 2 and have those runners be in motion. Look for him to be aggressive with what he thinks is his best pitch right now. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. It'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Got him to reach for it there as this is grounded to short. On to first with it is Andrus, and it's in time, one away. There's the second baseman now, Dustin Pedroia. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. Now the one and one pitch. Is strike two swinging. One and two. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Gallo comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Here's J.D. Martinez. Prior history in this matchup. He's got three base hits in 21 at-bats. He's gone down on strikes eight times as well. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Two two pitches fouled away. Three balls and two strikes to the DH for the Red Sox. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. Two two count. And he just seems to keep hanging right in there. The next three two. High and deep to center field. And it's off the green monster. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Batting four. Not your problem. Xander Bogart. At the plate now, Xander Bogarts Got him swinging. Made him chase outside the zone that time, and that puts an end to the inning.
Shinsu Chu at the plate now. He's coming off a three hit performance in the loss last night. Now the three and two pitch. And he fouls this one off. The next three two. And he goes against the shift there as this is on the ground to the left side. And the off balance throw will be too late. So a good effort that time, but it's an infield single. The first baseman. Into the box, Ronald Guzman. To two balls and two strikes now. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for route number one. So a runner at first with one out now. And that'll bring up the catcher, Robinson Chirinos. The 2 2. Hit back up the middle. Bogarts has it. Pedroia on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Bottom of the inning now. Here now is Rafael Devers. And you see the numbers there. He's been very dangerous at the plate to say the least. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. 2-1 pitch is a fastball swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Not particularly deep. On the move is Chu. He takes the turn and heads for second. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. So now to the plate. Mitch Moreland fouled off. Devers leads off second with nobody out. Line toward right center. Dives and he hangs on for the out. Wow. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. And the next up will be Alex Verdugo. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. He was able to sneak that fastball by him on three and one. So, so now we've got a battle on our hands. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. A ground ball to third, and they could get two. Odor on to Guzman. They get them both, and that retires the side. Here's Rognit Odor now. Fouled away. One and two, here it comes. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. So one gone in the inning now, and here's the shortstop, Elvis Andrews. This is swung on and missed his fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Now batter. So the bases are empty here with two gone, and that means the corner infielder Matt Duffy will bet next. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. The batter, number five. So a runner at first with two away, and into bat next, former Dodger minor leaguer Willie Calhoun. A 1-1. Waves and misses for strike number two. Still one and two. From the stretch. Swung on and he went fishing in the dirt. Vasquez is after it and the throw to first ends the inning. Here's Jackie Bradley now as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. Here's the one and one pitch. Good pitch there called a strike on the inside corner. 
And he'll hang in here as he reaches to foul this one away. The one two to first. He's got it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So it's back to the top of the order now. And with it brings the left handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. The one one. And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman, Dustin Pedroia. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. And the recovery will not be in time at first. And the inning will continue following the infield single. The designated hitter. At the plate, J.D. Martinez. That one catches the edge of the zone called the strike. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. The batter, number two. Good job. Stepping in now, Xander Bogarts. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here comes the one and two. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. And boy, he didn't quite know what to do on that one, but he's lucky to barely get back at first. Here's the two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Chu has a read on it. And the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Joey Gallo. He drew a walk his first time up. The 3-1. He's in there for a full count now. 3-2. and two. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. Danny. Digging in now, Danny Santana. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Now batting. White Digging in. Shin Su Chu. The 2 2. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. 3 and 2, the count for Rafael Devers. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. Now the three-and-two pitch. fly ball out to straightaway center. Santana is there. Two gone. So striding forward now. Alex Verdugo reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. And this is taken for a ball. He walked him. And the Sox had themselves a two-out base runner. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And from the on-deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. 
And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Tries to get him to chase the curve ball the way, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Ronald Guzman. And he rings up another one. Make it nine strikeouts for him in the game. Now batting. Digging in for his second at bat, Robinson Chirinos. Here now the 2 2. Is laid off, and the count runs full. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. After it is Verdugo, he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now so bases are empty second here with two gone, and okay. that'll bring up the second baseman, Rugna Dodor. Tough one to call there, but it's ruled just above the zone. Ground ball right into the shift. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. So here now is Jackie Bradley as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. The 2-1 home. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Throw to first is in time for the first out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Andrew Benintendi. It's been an 0-for-2 effort for him to this point. Now the one and one pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the, the second out. 15. Ready for another shot now. Yeah. Dustin Pedroia. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Popped him up. Guzman in foul ground. And that ends the inning. So Elvis Andres the next to bat. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Two balls and a strike to the Rangers leadoff hitter. That hook stayed up in the zone. You can see he struggled with that curveball early. He's trying to find that release point with his off-speed pitches. Love to see if he can find the field for that thing moving forward. And this is sliced foul into the stands in right out of play. Ready with another 2-2. Now here's a fly ball. Well hit. Benintendi hits back on it. But he has no chance to make the play. It's off the wall. Not in time. And he's in there with a double. The batter. The third baseman. Matt Duffy. To the plate now. Matt Duffy. And it's fouled away. Andres stands at second with no outs. Bouncer up the middle. Throw by Pedroia be in time, and there's your first down. Ryan Weber, a six-foot-one-inch right-hander, will be the one to get the call from the bullpen here. Willie Calhoun. Willie Calhoun will be his first assignment, and he's got a tough spot here with the runner at third and only one gone. Lying toward the alley in left center. And they're going to strike first this afternoon as this is down for extra bases. To second now, but he's safe as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now batting. At the plate now, Joey Gallo. 
And he fouls this one off. Hits her now even at four apiece. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Up next for the Ranger. Now in the box, the Danny field. Santana, Danny runner Ray. in scoring position Danny. with Sugan. Good slider there, okay. gets a swing and miss. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. One run, four hits, and no errors in the contest for the Rangers so far. And it's three balls and two strikes to the Rangers center fielder. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world. If you... Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. Play at the plate, and he's out. A great throw. Standing in now, J.D. Martinez. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Now the 2-1 pitch. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. And it's gone into the monster seats. Colby Aller takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth inning. Colby Aller. In now, Rafael Devers. Ground ball left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And no chance at a recovery here as despite a great effort that time, they won't get an out on the play. So now to the plate, Mitch Moreland. Sacrifice attempt here. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Stepping into the box, Alex Verdugo. It was a walk in his last trip. This is line to left. That's in there. Base hit. And they won't risk it at third, so they're at the corners now with only one away. Into the box, Christian Vasquez. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. He's fallen behind now, three and one. With one out and runners on the corner, some managers like to hit and run here. It's a little risky. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. It'll die on the warning track as the catch is made. And here comes the runner from third. And the run is in to score from third. It's now three to one. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And in to hit next, it'll be the left-handed batter, Jackie Bradley Jr. There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Stepping up now, Shinsu Chu. A hit in two tries so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Three and one to him now. And he drops a change in on him there, and that'll run it full three and two. Hey, you want someone sometimes to rattle the bat rack, but also the guy on the mound's got to eat too. They're executing their pitches out there. It's going to be tough to score some runs. High in the air down the right field line, but this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. He'll try it again three and two. And he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. Settling in now, Ronald Guzman. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fat. Oh, look at the sliding stop. 
The one two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Fouled off. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Now a flare out to left center. In there, a base hit. Now back. Robinson. To the plate now. Robinson Chirinos. In the dirt here. Perfect throw, and they got him at second. We're in the seventh inning with a good finish brewing. Three to one our score. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And there's a base hit on the line. So they'll go to the now bullpen batter. now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Stepping in now, Rupnit Odor. Here's a foul ball left side, and that'll move it to one and two. And a curveball swung on and missed, and a great ball there as the inning is over. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Now the one and one pitch. It's a swinging strike on the fastball. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Chirinos corrals it. He'll throw down to first, one away. One man is out of the Red Sox seventh, and that'll bring up the former MVP second baseman Dustin Pedroia. The one one home. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right and that'll move the count to one and two now. The pitch. I got the count two and two. And that's down into left center for a base hit. Now this rolls all the way to the wall. Now that is. Into the box now, J.D. Martinez. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring up the power hitting shortstop Xander Bogarts. High and deep down the left field line, and that's going to land foul. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Fouled away. Pedroia leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit high and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. But he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Now batted, third baseman. So with a left-handed hitter waiting, they'll go to their own left-hander out of the bullpen. At the plate now, Rafael Devers. Beautiful diving stop. He's out. been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eight. Into the box now, Elvis Andrews. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here it comes now to Andrews. 1-1 one, one pitch is a knuckle curve. He's in the hole now, one and two. And now Andres swings and misses here as they're able to set him down for the first out. 
Into the box now, Matt Duffy. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here. Three and one. Willie Calhoun will be next. There's ball four. To the plate now for Texas is the D.H. Willie Calhoun in his career versus this pitcher. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball well outside. Eighth inning of this low scoring affair. 3 to 1 our score. Three balls and a strike to Willie Calhoun. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike and now he's got the count in his favor three and one and he misses again ball four and that's back to back guys now that have I'll reached base the via the base on ball. So it's a tight spot here first and second one man out and up to bat next the left handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. The set and the one one pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Looked like the cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Ryan Brazier enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight. Nick Solak will come on now and pinch run here. Number Danny 15. Santana will be his first yeah. assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. The 3 2 pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. And that'll plate the run from second as the lead shrinks to one at 3 2 now. Now batting. Right here. At the plate, here. Shin Su Chu. Chu with a two ball, one strike count here. It's fouled away. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Standing in, Mitch Moreland, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Hit down the third baseline. And this is swung on and missed. And Moreland is set down on strikes for the first down. Striding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. It was a single for him in his last at bat. 3 1 is a fastball, and he can't connect 3 and 2. Swing and a liner. And Andrus will not be able to get there. It's a base hit. Now batting, catcher, Christian Vasquez. In now, Christian Vasquez. Popped him up. Chirinos moving to his left. Two gone. Next up for the Red Sox, Jackie Bradley Jr. No hits for him yet in the game despite his team's offensive onslaught. Now the three and two pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now with the plate, Andrew Benintendi looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. Ready with the 1-1. Swings through it for strike number two. Just hung in there on that one. Verdugo at second. Bradley on at first with two down. Lays off two and two now.
This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The 2-2. Line towards center field. And he has delivered one of the biggest at-bats of the afternoon as he cashes in with a base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Nick Goody trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. The designated hitter, Yehi Martinez. To the plate now, J.D. Martinez. Fastball laid off well below the knees. And this one's in the dirt. So he'll keep those runners where they are, but the count moves to three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and it's full three and two. Takes this the other way to right. And this will get over the wall, in fact, so just the one run will be allowed to score. So now to the plate, Xander Bogarts. One and two to the Boston shortstop. Swing and a miss at one in the dirt. Chirinos recovers, and that ends the inning. Darwin's and Hernandez comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 63. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Guzman. Last time through was a base hit. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. This one's down to third. Devers fields it cleanly. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Ready once again, Robinson Chirinos. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. The 1-1 is looked at for ball number two. over that one but a little out in front foul ball the 2 2 is in there a called strike three stepping in Rupnit Odor he comes to the plate as the last chance for his side two out here in the ninth Swing and a miss, and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. Texas down to their final strike in this one. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. So the home crowd will have a pleasant drive home afterwards as their guys have taken the first two of this three-game series. A win tomorrow, and they can break out the brooms. 6-2, to two, the final total today. The Boston Red Sox wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Ryan Weber gets the win in relief his second of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Klesak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Time of the ball game, two hours and 59 minutes. Our Fenway Park paid attendance this afternoon, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely.